In other news tonight, the budget proposed earlier this week by Governor John Kasich has people across Ohio talking. The governor wants to change the way we're taxed, keep tuition freezed, and wants to tax vacant companies to the point where some say they'll go out of business. The key points of Ohio's new budget is new at 10. The House of Vape sits in a plaza off Market Street in Beaver Township. The products sold inside, the pipes and liquids, are already taxed 17%. And now, under John Kasich's proposed state budget, the tax would increase by 69%. Honestly, over time, eventually we would probably have to close our doors because people are not going, they're not willing to pay that price for the product. The governor is also proposing another two-year freeze for tuition for all of Ohio's public universities, while at the same time requiring the universities to pay for all textbooks, though he is allowing them to charge an extra $300 fee. And so obviously that presents a challenge. Youngstown State Spokesman Ron Cole says should the freeze become law, that would make four straight years that YSU has gone without a tuition increase. Governor Kasich also ordered the last two years frozen. Three quarters of our state or of our operating budget comes from tuition in terms of revenue. Governor Kasich has also proposed cutting the state's income tax by 17 percent and offsetting the lost income by increasing the sales tax by a half cent to six and a quarter percent. Youngstown Area State Representative John Bacheri called the governor's proposal tax shifting, forcing the tax burden to the lowest layers of government forcing county commissioners, township trustees, and school boards to raise their taxes uh, because the state has moved with uh, income taxes where we argue are to the wealthiest Ohioans and you know disproportionately affects people who are in middle incomes. On funding K-12 education, Governor Kasich has proposed increasing some districts by as much as 5% while cutting districts which have lost enrollment 1% for each percent of decline, capping at 5%. He also wants to increase the cigarette tax from $1.60 to $2.25 a pack, increase fracking taxes, and he wants to expand Medicaid to 700,000 more Ohioans.